Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, I'm going to take you through just a few of the sets that I will have at the auction. Date to be determined. Um, honestly, we're probably looking at sometime mid-April, if I'm being honest, just because of the amount of work and travel I have coming up. But i um, super excited to get this kind of rolling and keep some momentum with it so that I actually do it. Um, so that being said, I want to go through and show you a few of the sets today and um, just to give you an idea of what's going to be there. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, I listened to all your feedback and it sounds like people would like me to do complete sets, but also maybe just kind of list off some of the incomplete stuff that I have. I'm gonna have to save that for another day. Um, but that way, if anyone's interested in some of the incomplete stuff, some of them are just, I have a box of just shells with no figures or anything um, that, you know, maybe we can uh, take photos of the ones people are interested in. But I wanted to give you an idea of some of the complete sets that I'll have available. And uh, this is not gonna be everything. And I will say apologies, this video is gonna be a little bit on the shorter side today. Um, I have a friend that needs my help today, so that's what I'm going to do. And I wanted to get this filmed before I head out of the house um, so that Chris can edit it for us because I don't know what time I'm going to be home today. So, um, so apologies if this one is a little short, but I uh, wanted to give you an idea. So I've got all of my, um, well, some of my complete sets down here and uh, I kind of got them sorted into categories. We'll start with the two that we know about from the last one. So I am going to have the um, jewelry box, I guess this one is. There's the beauty case. This one would be the, the jewelry one uh, because it doesn't have makeup in it, right? This one, I am getting that polish tomorrow um, to see if I can get that mark off of it and, and polish it up a little bit better. So I'm excited for that polish to arrive. We'll probably test that out in the next video because I do have a few more that I need to clean, but the jewelry case will be one of them. Um, and as you saw in the last video, I also have the Pony Ride-In from 1994. As part of Pet Parade, I do also have um, Cuddly Kitty. Gosh, I'm, not, I'm starting to lose my names here. Um, the one thing about the Cuddly Kitty set is that the Polly is not in great shape. So it's not like a, a perfect set, uh, but I do have the kitty and the case itself is in great condition. So um, some of them won't be like perfection, but I'll be sure to be clear about all of that stuff as, as we get toward the auction. Um, so I kind of sorted things in piles. Let's talk a little bit since we're looking at pet stuff, the pet parade. So I have a complete set of the little hearts. So of course we've got, and I think I, gosh, I just realized I've cut myself on something. Who knows what? Um, the Precious Puppy set, and I believe it was Lynette that won one of these last year. Um, we've got another one of the Precious Puppies available, which is the pink, the dark pink one. The light pink one is the uh, Fuzzy Kitty, I wanna say. No, not Fuzzy Kitty. Gosh, you know what? I'm not good at the names right now. It's the cat one. Um, then we also have Pretty Panda with the two pandas and the Polly. So again, the ones I'm showing you today are the ones that I've got all the figures for. And it looks like I actually have two of those. There's another one. So super cute. And the fourth one in that series is Pretty Bunnies. Um, of which again is complete. So great that we've got a full set of those. Of course, on the day that I'm running short, the battery just died. I didn't realize I was ready to go to battery on the camera. Um, so what I was saying was we've got a complete set plus one of the pet hearts. So that is super exciting. Um, we also have a number of smaller, like original style compacts. One of them is Beach Party, which is this one here, plus some other ones that are really cool and I'm excited about. 
This one's uh, one of the harder ones to find, which is the Fairy Wishing World one with the little golden goose, which is different from the goose that comes, or the swan, I guess it is, that comes with the Starlight Castle. Um, for some reason, I've got three hair salons. There are three complete hair salons, which is exciting. Um, just had a random thought that I wonder if any of these are replacement polys and no. Remember how we found out that the original ones had painted feet and then the replacement ones had the not fully painted feet? That was an interesting find, but no, those are all complete. Plus one of Polly's school with both the figures in there, obviously, and a fun fair. And it, this must be a wild zoo world because I have about 1,800 of them. There's one. <laughs> and I have one of these, the water park one, where it's got four figures, Splash and Slide Water Park 95. So there's um, four figures in that one, which is a lot, but it is indeed complete. So lots of compacts there. What is that? Um, 10, 16, 17. Um, so that's 17 sets so far. <laughs> I have a complete magical move in Polyville and this one is pretty darn good. If you can see the color on that, um, it's not like faded. Usually this goes quite orange. So this is a really nice duplicate. Um, and yes, when I say complete, it has the flags in there as well. So um, the figures, the flags, the magnetic poly, all of that's there, all of the clothes. So that one's exciting. Mailbox is not broken off, which is perfect. And you may remember this one, um, but I got another um, duplicate of this, the perfume bottle. Gosh, I, why am I losing all of my names on this so suddenly here? Um, Polly's Crystal Palace. I can't remember what the other name for it is. Um, but this one, of course, this fits inside. And then when we shut it, it can be held or for some reason worn, although that would be very heavy and probably not very sturdy. But we've got a duplicate of that as well. Um, we have one stamper so far in here, and it's the nursery stamper, the babysitting stamper. And it's complete with all of the little things, the bear, the tricycle, the baby's poly. And it's got currently a sealed ink. Um, I don't think it's sealed, sealed, but it has a piece of plastic over it. Um, so I do need to clean that one, but the stamps are all cleaned up and in great condition so that one will be great it's a really nice set and the case is in great condition too so excited for that one of course we've got some polyville um so this is a good one to get complete because um it's often missing pieces this is grandma's cottage and it's got that elusive tray with it and of course both figures so I'm excited for that one. Um, what would be a sale without a um, cozy cottage? Catch with this one is the mailbox is broken, but um, it is there so it can be glued if the person wants to do that. Plus I have two complete burger drive-ins. And if you're thinking to yourself, complete Holly, yes, complete, it even has the balloons with it, car, both figures are in there, living its best life. Very excited about that. And there is a second one as well that can confirm also has balloons in it. So very exciting. So um, that is a good one as well because that one is often missing the balloons. So we know that that's gonna be one that's harder to find. Um, a few duplicates of the Animal Wonderland sets as well, 
plus I have a duplicate church with a steeple. Um, the ones that are here, I've tested that the lights work. That The ones that are light up, that is. So the church, um, a few more that I'm going to show you have lights in them. Uh, and I made sure to test them all and mark them so that I know which ones work. There's some that the lights, they're complete and the lights don't work. And they are currently in the repair zone to see if I can get the lights working. So um, another one, Starbright dinner party. And it's got the... Uh, table in there, right? Um, everything is beautiful and functional and I've got all three figures. Plus, what would be a sale without a complete Starlight Castle? We've got the little swan friend in there. And I have so many of those that just don't have the figures. Um, a complete fairy wonderland. Again, lights work. The only catch with this one is the two fairies um, have kind of lost their wings, but otherwise complete. Some people have gotten pretty good at making those wings, but uh, I haven't tried that out yet. If you saw some of my more recent videos, I showed one of these. This one needs a bit of a clean, but this is the jeweled forest with the squirrel, which is probably one of my favorite pieces of all time. Um, beautiful little pond in there. And of course we've got the emerald inside the toadstool, which is super cute. Plus we have a surf and swim island that's complete. Ooh, these are hard to open, but it's got all of those little pieces and boy are those pieces difficult to keep track of. So it's nice to have one that's complete. And not only is it complete, it's got its stickers on it too. A um, few more that I am still working on over here, but there's also going to be a number of smaller pieces that are duplicates, um, including a stable on the go. We've got um, an RV. There is a duplicate set of the caravan, a duplicate set of pool party on the go and I've got a few other things in here including oh that's from the stable a few lockets so this is the um Polly in her music room I believe um Polly in her bedroom and Polly's fairyland here fairyland locket which one is that I think this is the one with the, the book in it, maybe? Maybe I would call this one Fairy Spells. No, this one is just Fairy Garden, maybe? I don't know. There's too many names for these things, but she's actually got gorgeous wings. And it's all complete with the original thing in there too, which is awesome. So lots of really good stuff. Um, and again, I've got more. That's just what I was able to dig out for you today. We've also um, got, of course, a lot of duplicates that are incomplete. And then there are some that are just completely just the shell. I've done my best to separate all of those things in my home just so that I have an easier time finding what I'm looking for if I am needing to go through that stuff. So that's the status. Really, I think we've decided at this point to go with whatnot again. So I'm gonna look into that and look at the logistics of it. it means I'm gonna have to weigh all of the sets ahead of time, take photo, video, put everything up there. But again, I'm giving myself about two months to do that. Um, and it's gonna be a lot of work, but hopefully that gives you some insight as to what some of the stuff that we'll have available. Um, there's a few more pieces too that I'm excited about, but I'm gonna hold those close to my chest for a little bit uh, before I let you know about them. Um, so that's really it from me for today. I do have to get over to help my friend um, and that's really important to me. So thanks for your patience with these uh, sometimes shorter videos, but um, just know that on days that I have shorter videos, it's because I need them to be shorter. <laughs> So um, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, please do. It helps out the channel so much. I come out with new videos every Monday and Thursday. 
And if you're on social media, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. Those are the best places to connect with me outside of YouTube. But that's it for me for today. So uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.